Hi everyone, welcome to On the Other Hand. I'm Ariane Zercher, and today I'm going to demonstrate one way to finish a piece. So I have a couple of improvisational stitching pieces that I finished, and I wasn't sure what to do with them, so I looked at a couple different ideas and tested out a few different things, and I came up with one idea in particular that I really like for these pieces. And so I'm going to show you what I did and how I did it. Again, this is just one way where I'm demonstrating how I'm floating a piece, a hand-stitched piece, onto a frame that's been wrapped with a piece of just regular linen, not canvas. And I'll show you how I did that. And I used two different ways of getting that piece adhered to the linen stretched frame. Because each piece had different things going on. And so, so I needed to figure out how to adhere for that particular piece. I hope you'll join me. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on the thumbs up button. It's the little like icon that helps me with the YouTube algorithms. And let's get stitching. All right, so um, I'm going to lift this up so you can see. So here is my Olea piece. And what I've done is I've taken the measurements. I then did a frame for it, a wooden frame. Here's the wooden frame. I've then, with a staple gun, stapled these down. Uh, you want to stretch first the, and I took a just a regular linen. This is a lightweight linen, not canvas. I left myself two to two, I guess, two inches, two and a half inches, something like that on the edge. I then pushed this part, staple gun the center, went to the opposite end, staple gun the center, went to the side, center, center. Then I went back and did one, two on either side, to the top, one, two on either side, went to the sides, sides. And then I continued around doing, you know, two on either side, two on either side pulling the canvas so that it's it's not really taut because I have to stitch through it but it's it's pretty it's pretty nicely done there. So I ran out of staples, had to order some more. And now I'm going to go ahead and do my corners. Um I actually went on YouTube to look. Uh people do them a diff couple different ways. This way seemed um I kind of liked the way this went. It's not a full miter. Um, it's not even up against the edge. It's just in sort of a sort of a hybrid between a miter and a, and making it run along the edge. The this edge run along this edge. So I'm pulling it like this. I'm pulling this part as I go. And then I'm pulling this and I'm trying to get this so it doesn't have any wrinkles in it. And I'm then laying it down. This still has some wrinkles. I don't care for that. So I'm going to tweak it like that. I want to be sure that this is snug snug and this is going to get pulled as well and I can go ahead and staple gun this again I want to make sure that that corner is pulled in as much as I can so I just keep pulling until I have it and then I'm going to take my staple gun here and without doing my thumb, I'm going to pull that in 
and I'm going to pull this and I'm going to pull this side up as well. And I'm going to keep doing that all the way around to the other side as well. It doesn't matter that this is not perfect. Um, nobody's going to see the back except for me. Um, I've also seen people cut a piece of paper and then glue it to the back after they finished doing everything. So the whole thing is completely enclosed. You can do that if you care. I don't. Now I'm going to take my piece and and I'm going to set it on top like this. And I'm going to stitch into it. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that with my other piece that I've already started. All right, so here's the other piece. This is my joy of obsession piece. And I've already begun to stitch it. Here are my threads that I'm using. And I'm going to show you up close. So do you see this? This is all stitched into the background. All this. I did a running stitch along here. This is stitched right into the linen. Then I did my seed stitch all in here. And this is all stitched right directly into this back linen so that the whole thing is sitting here and very secure. It's not going anywhere. Let's see if I can. So it's all stitched in there. Um, it's tricky stitching it. I'm not going to lie, but it can be done. Now, for this one, let's see, I'm going to bring this down. Do you see this whole area is not stitched? This is. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mimic some of my stitching that I have up here. So for example, I'm going to start inside here. I'm going to slip my needle in. Do you see how I'm slipping it in? So that the knot won't show. This is the wooden frame behind it, so I can't just pull a needle in through there. I'm pulling the fabric down as I go. I'm going to do a series of French knots, pulling the fabric down, stitching into the linen. And coming out over here. I can't go down because there's wood behind here. I'm going to pull this through and I'm going to do another one. If I need to, I can grab my um, my pliers as well to help me pull. But I'm pulling the fabric down. I'm kind of mimicking the stitches. I'm not worrying that I don't have exactly the same thread. Figuring good enough. And I'm just going to continue doing that all the way around. And this is going to ensure that my piece is totally adhered and yet will give a kind of floating effect once I'm finished.
The hardest part, I think, is pulling this down while trying to adhere it to both layers. I want to make more of a cluster the way these are, so I'm going to do that um, as well. But since I can't go down because the wood is behind here, I have to go up through the fabric. I can go even, I can even go off it into here if I want. The way I did here with some of these stitches, I just went right off into the linen itself. I'm not really worrying about it too much. Now, another thing I've done is I used pins to try to pin everything down to help me. A little bit. And then when I run out of thread, I can just go down and then pierce up somewhere in here and pull it through. And I'm not going to worry about it. And I'll just cut that thread off. So it disappears. Now I could, may come back and do a couple of more so it's sort of more of a cluster. And then I'll come down with another thread to mimic these stitches, uh, the seed stitches. I'm going to keep doing that all the way around this whole piece, pulling as I go. So I'm going ahead and I'm just doing my seed stitch here. One of the things I'm finding really helpful is to have my pliers handy so that when I put in my stitch, um, I'm able to grab it because I'm going underneath a layer of linen, two layers of linen, and then I'm hitting board. And sometimes if I'm going down, it doesn't seem to be as much a problem, but when I'm going up or sideways, it's a little bit harder to grab. So I'm just going ahead with this and with the help of my pliers, I'm adhering this while pulling it down and mimicking the stitches that I have already done. using the same thread that I've already done them in so that it doesn't suddenly look completely different. So I, I want to recreate this kind of textural 
seed stitch that I had before on the darker areas of the linen. It's a bit uh, more challenging and a little bit more uh, time consuming for sure. So now I'm going to go over to this section here and I'll do a couple of seed stitches over here. Making sure that I grab the linen below. here. I'll do one line here and here and then I'll do some over here coming around like that. And I'll continue over here as well as here. I may switch to this. Uh, this is a silk, um, a silk gimp. I may switch to the silk gimp and continue here and over here. And then I'm going to pick up this color along here. So there it is. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see the stitching. Start up here. Zoom back. You can see it. I'll take a photo of it uh, hanging on the wall as well. So what I've done here is I have stitched this edge using a little just kind of a tacking stitch here and I am now stopping here because I want to pull down here. This is how I have to do it. I have to pull it, I take a stitch, push it, grab with my pliers, 
pull, take a stitch, pull with my pliers. And in this way, I'm able to kind of, it's not invisibly, but it is stitching it down in a pretty non-obtrusive way. I thought I would try to extend some of these colored threads out into the frame, but I don't know. I may do that after I've stitched the whole thing down this way. Because there's so few places that I can actually do that, I just decided to do this the whole way around and then kind of see where I am. All right, so I finished it and there it is. I think it's pretty successful. I did do some French knots over here and I added a couple in here. But otherwise, I just tacked it down 